in Shane Mo 39 knockouts. He's sitting back and allowed. Oh, first half minute as. Fast hands when he lets. That's his bread and butter. The attack. Now Shane comes back to the body himself. Bears and lands his jab. Getting a feel for each other's body. In the background, Canelo. <laughs> Mosley got close enough for Canelo to land the body. And another one below. Didn't have any power at all. It's more like he's jingling out of the punches. And I don't think he's going to be able to hold off Canelo with the kind of punches that he's throwing. And Canelo landed that left hook. Mosley gets in a rush shot. In order to get some. That Canelo seems satisfied for the moment to take the lead in the fight and looking for opportunities to. Observation by Naz Richardson, Mosley's trainer, that Canelo uh, trying to make weight three minutes of a round. He's you know, trying to conserve his energy. Part of you wonders if Canelo is showing a little bit too much respect for this version of Mosley. Only to sleep. For now it looks as though he's just trying to get a closer look. There's the jab, and he landed it flush on Mosley's face. And there's the left hook to the... And now, finally, Canelo is beginning to put a physical imprint on the fight. This is the intensity which has made him a star. Uh, but also this intensity that he fights with and the determination, which is a little different today because a lot of the fighters punch, and they don't punch through the target. They, from this pad work, they punch all the way through the target every time he punches. I love the poise and the confidence. He's so comfortable in the ring. Well, when you put all on his record. It's amazing. Lots of fights. Again, the official record is 39-0-1. And those body punches may take something out of Moses shortly. Check it out. In, in, in few, in few, I work for him and I work for the story. Good luck, thank you. And we bring you back to live action uh, in the second round. Canelo Alvarez began to step it up. His copy box numbers found him landing 27 out of 51 punches. Mosley trying to get a against Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez forward and landing hard shots like that. These body shots are designed to test the older fighters coming in. His fans will all say, oh no, Shane's going to finish the fight. He's Shane Mosley. Canelo may be very special. Disappointed when you hit him. Almost as though he looks discouraged sometimes when you hit him. Does that affect Judge? He just, he, he just to me, I, I would just get him to say that he's getting hit with punches. He doesn't seem to have the reflexes he used to have in his punches when he does punch. He's going to tie up a guy like a lot of the veteran guys. He will fight you. Time! As he seems to have been in the but heads are whether it's from a blow. Well, if it's from a blow, why would they have stopped and taken him to the court? Clearly in a replay that it was a hit. Maybe Halo's corner is Jose Reynast on Alvarez's face, but he's virtually expressionless in there. But a lot of is that gut. Oh, Harold, how do you have it through three? In the first round, that's what, you know, Canelo runs two and three. Canelo really started to come, come alive with that uppercut and that, that right hand and that left hook. Anyway, if the fight gets stopped in the fourth round, right now, it's a no decision. Once, in other words, once this Rokas wins, Alvarez. Nobody wants to see star Andre Ward. Andre, welcome in the fight so far. Well, I, you know, Shane Mosley came out with a, a, a power jab in the first couple of rounds, and I really like that. But, you know, thus far, um, you know, Canelo Alvarez has taken over. Uh, he looks poised. He looks strong. He's landed some really good shots, and he, and he, he, he came. Do you think it's the body punching that said he's, when he fights, he's fans? I, I, I mean, I watched Mosley, you know, especially when he's at 135, and I, you know, I used to think, who is this guy? You know, at some point, fighters are going to get old, and... You know, right now, when he punches, but he still hasn't been that busy. I mean, he punches in spots, you know, and, you know. What's your instinct, Andre? Does so that's why we see the high guard. He's not taking it. It's his overall game. That's, that's Alvarez's cut has stayed. Now just a slight trickle of blood as and Miguel and structure with regard to those, Andre. Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, one of my favorite. Respect him a lot. I respect both guys, and this is going to be a tremendous fight tonight. The fans. Canelo Alvarez now. You know, I, I've always been able to stay for a real champion right now. He looks like a guy who... It has a name, Andrew. Yeah, with Vladimir Klitschko. 
about Canelo's punch pass. I see a shame myself is gradually Stop. winning the decision. Because he's landing more than that's my take. Active, and he is. He's throwing more punches. And over the years, maybe you're right, maybe I'm wrong, because judges have shown that they'll respond to activity. But when Canelo lands, he's knocking Shane's head back. This is why we all has built such... Canelo landed low, and referee Jay Nady warned him verbally about it. seem to be able to hurt. He doesn't have his best round to me because he's been busy. His volume of punches has picked up this round. In prize fights for you, Andre. Where does punching power rank? Well, I think, you know, we're talking about Canelo's power here, but I think his mindset tonight, his mindset to come win. I'm ashamed most these big punches right now because he's going to win that fight against that style. You're brilliant. Here you see Canelo land a beautiful, powerful straight left, and those are the type of punches that has been getting the attention of the crowd for the most part and the judges because he punches so hard and he punches but he didn't as a lightweight he but the type of winky right wasn't dominant anymore this weight there he still has to fight Martin has been throughout his career he made his mark at 154 pounds chose to go after winky right a lot of kind of defense with uh winky right and decided he wanted to do it again put your head in this fight in particular because we just recently made a deal first off for the Cora Springs K-9 Brundage fight and they will be the ultimate plan is for Brundage wins is to fight Canelo Avalanche probably this fall well she continues to grow and develop and if he wins this fight he's going to be a linchpin for well, Avalanche is also exciting fight punches with full authority and if he would be busier than this he would probably not say that, but he's had to fight the way that he's fighting the last two rounds. No, but, but Shane is not let troll with it. Where's the chance to tee off? A little more liberally to the head here tonight than we've seen him in some of his fights against good opponents because it's there for him. He's landing more than half his power shots, and it becomes increasingly questionable whether 40. Imagine that he would want any of his children to buy out tonight. There's going to be Cotto fans, and he's still wondering whether we'll ever see Mayweather and Pacquiao a fight. Complications. Let him and how do you have it through six? Uh, okay, Jim, I've got a five rounds to win more damage. I got to tell you, Jim, for 21 terrific, uh, terrific skills, five to one, Canelo Alvarez. Skills, I think Andre Ward said it very well. He has a sophisticated overing that he does. I see fighter. If the fight goes on, if he don't knock Shane out, he may have some problems. Simply because Shane is just so determined he's going to keep working. Almost a no win set does close the show sensationally. Um, he's not going to get full credit for just beating a 40 year old Shane Mosley. Larry, you began. You're in the dressing room interview with Shane with a question about people who might be worried about his health in this fight. The formula is but can't knock him out. Canelo is landing bombs. Yeah, he, Shane is getting, rarely have we seen him. I mean, he's been in fights, high contact fights, but he's getting hit with very seldom we ever seen him fight with a guy that can punch with so much power as this, this guy has also. So far. Credit to a cut. Because you pushed him back. Mosley's coming forward and being aggressive again. I'm, I'm really surprised that he's taking those shots. But Shane is pushing head, Shane. him all the way where along the fight. Alvarez wants to take a break or get tired. He's going to have a problem with Shane. Well, we're a minute into the eighth round, and it appears that if Canelo get rest, this is the one in the first minute of the round. That's one of the few knocks against him as he fights in spurts. Yeah. But he explodes very well with a lot of power. But again, I think he's trying to lull you to sleep. And then he steps up with a flurries like our shots. One right after another. Boom, boom. Back five feet. Budding shots. Again. Always had a great chin. Yep. yep. Never been knocked out.
Well, that was the Mexican head roll he does. He, they, a lot of those guys that do that, but they roll their head, they're hitting them. You know, it's the difference from the way that the American fighters roll their shoulders, but they roll their head. Trying to apply his legendary professionalism. Power shots routinely as the fight goes on. Most responsibly, he's more or less allowing Mosley to throw to set up his own counter shots. He has no respect for Mosley's punching power. But he is an attrition fighter. He does not come out with And when the opportunity. Been very calm ever since. Short. Use your head. Amazing accuracy throughout the fight for Alvarez. He wants to. Ripping Mosley to the head on the body as we've sometimes seen him. Mosley's legs have held up better him than we've seen him in some recent fights. Just took two vicious body shots and a third one, and he's backing away now. Canelo hurt him with the body shots. Shane Mosley grabbed it's This is a moment here as Mosley is seeing the focus to the body. This is an audition for a possible fight against Mayweather. Here's where he has the chance to pass the audition. Absolutely right. The narrative was clear coming in. The great Shane Mosley's never been knocked out. Including in his loss to Floyd Mayweather two years ago. Now Mosley gets in a right hand. Look at the commitment to those body punches. This is fierce. Very big puncher for 154 pounds. Even though Canelo has landed a lot of powerful shots during this fight, this is the most effective punch I think that he's landed in the entire punch for either fighter. This left hook to the body that he landed on is the best shot of the night, and it's slow. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim, I got eight rounds to one canary, Jim. I'm having a double beating by a young kid every time he lands a shot. And once again, Alvarez starts the round fairly slowly and fairly passively. It's almost as though he takes the first minute off before beginning to crank up the pin. Richardson said a very interesting thing between rounds. He said, if sure, whether Shane has any No, punch. he's not sure. And then Shane's punches, really the jab is really not a jab. I never thought he was a jab. He kind of jingles the left hand, but he doesn't. In his prime was a left hook to the body. That was his best punch, mainly when he was uh, as a lightweight. He tried it right there. Low blow by Mosley. Oh, blood, Canelo. blood is streaming again from Canelo. That encourages Mosley to keep going, although... ...from Alvarez for Shane Mosley coming down the stretch. In this sport. And the entourage clapping in rhythm, getting him going. And in the other dressing room down the hall, the amazing network between Uncle Roger and Nephew Floyd. In rhythm. Something they can do instinctively, probably with power shots by definition. Out of 22 for 23%. Probably discouraged Shane Mosley won't quit and is determined to finish the fight. So it would be up to Nassim Riz for getting too bad, and obviously they don't think so so no, far. No, you can't stop his fight. I mean, he's still, he's getting hit with good shots, but never has he been staggered, and he's getting hit with clean punches that have his head snaring back, but that's Shane. He's in there like with a 22 rifle, with a guy with a high-powered rifle in there, and that's the difference. He can land a lot of punches, don't have the effect of this guy, but he punches back. Alvarez. Right hand cross upstairs by Shane Mosley, who's one of his best punches of the fight. Didn't bother Canelo in even the slightest degree. 
But here he is, still standing. And fighting. Still fighting. It appears that Mosley will be headed for a third loss in his last four fights. In the Below his best. Canelo, as you pointed out earlier, Larry is getting. So that Floyd, giving Floyd Mayweather more ammunition for. Conceived pay-per-view for Mayweather. Uh, uh, Canelo adds numbers and Cotto adds numbers big time. And all, all the big are here. Hello here, that's natural for the Mexican part. And Miguel Cotto actually in boxing. Filipinos. <laughs> The American fans that Mayweather attracts want to see him win or or lose. He attracts them. Mosley's dutifully tracking most of the shots with his arms and taking advantage of the opportunity to come upstairs and hit Shane Flush. Seeing Shane Mosley's last stand. As tonight. Well, we always do have, have a good part. Biggest weakness is he fights in spots. There's not that much explosive, uh, but in the meantime, he doesn't have to be. Across the ring, in the third row, center, Shane Mosley's opposite number for most of his life. Oscar Dunn. Shane lasted three more years as a professional now than was the case for Oscar. He made a lot more money. But, but there were two fighters who defined their times. Oscar was the one who got the Olympic gold medal in 92. If Shane had made it to the Olympics in Barcelona as everyone had expected him to, he would have been just as big a favorite to win gold. The shadow wound up working with them for him at Golden Bull. Forever, their identities will be tied. One of the first Mosley standing up all around this arena. A great trip. A courageous fight. He tried. He's all the way down the wire to the last few seconds. He's still fighting. Way more than he gave. Still, WBC. Super overweight champion of more powerful throughout the fight.